Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of The Sauce, talking NBA on a Tuesday. And man, I need a good night tonight. I got rinsed on Sunday. I went 0-2 against the spread, 1-1 one one on totals, and 0-2 in props. Conference Champion Sunday ripped me up, and then I followed it up with a losing NBA Monday. So I need to be in the green tonight. Let's dive in. Welcome to The Sauce. The Sauce. Hey, get the sauce. All right, Miami on the road in Cleveland here. This line opened up Cavs minus four. Public's pretty split even, but look at all that sharp money in on Cleveland. Bumps the line up to five and a half, but then it's announced that Jimmy Butler's probably gonna play and the line drops back down. So right now we're looking at Cleveland minus four and a half. Let's take a quick look at the spreadsheet. According to our model, it looks like the line's supposed to be Cleveland minus 5.2. So a very, very slight lean on the Cavs. Let's break down this matchup real quick. Obviously we know that the Cavs have been monsters at home this year. They're 21 and five straight up at home. Um, also they're tied for the best in the NBA, 17, eight and one against the spread. Uh, they're tied with Milwaukee. So right off the bat, kind of tough to fade that. Also, they're pretty close to completely healthy. Uh, Donovan Mitchell's back at full, full strength. So Garland, Mitchell, Levert, Mobley, and Allen all healthy at the same time. Those five have only, have only spent 164 minutes on the floor together all year. In the past three weeks, the Cleveland Cavs are seventh in the NBA in defensive efficiency. And they're going up against a Miami Heat offense that in the last three weeks has ranked just 26th in offensive efficiency. So you've got a struggling Heat offense playing a very good Cavs defense who plays even better at home in Cleveland. But here's the thing, the Cavs may be seventh in defensive efficiency in the last three weeks, but you wanna know who's first? The Miami Heat. And check this out, how much do we trust this Cavs team right now? Look at this. So in the last 13 games, they're just six and seven. They're actually below 500 in their last 13 games. And when's the last time this Cleveland team was tested at home? Here are the last five home games for the Cavs, ready? They beat the Clippers without Paul George and Kawhi. They beat the Bucks without Giannis and Middleton. They played Golden State, lost. They beat the Pelicans without Ingram and Zion. And they beat the Suns without Booker and a few other pieces as well. I don't fully trust this Cleveland team right now. I think this home record is a little bit up in the air based on the recent competition. I think Miami's playing better basketball, so I'm taking the points. Give me Miami plus four and a half next game. All right, Lakers on the road in New York here. This line opened up Knicks minus one and a half. Uh, Public's pretty heavy on the Knicks here. Line goes all the way up to three and a half, but then some heavy sharp money comes in on the Lakers, drop it back down to two. Also, it's announced that LeBron's probably gonna play, so I'm sure that had something to do with the line dropping as well. Let's take a quick glance at our spreadsheet. The model saying the line for this game should be Knicks minus 6.67. So a pretty heavy lead, four and a half point lean on the New York Knicks. All right, so the main headline for this game was the injury report, but it looks like that's settled. It looks like LeBron's gonna play and Anthony Davis is gonna play as well, but he's gonna come off the bench. Neither of these guys played last night in Brooklyn, so both of them should be plenty well rested. We all know how much the Knicks have struggled in Madison Square Garden. They're just not a good team at home. Just three and seven against the spread in their last 10 home games, and they're 26 in the NBA, sitting at nine, 14 and three against the spread at home on the season. If LeBron and AD are both playing, and it appears that they are, I don't know how we can lay points to the Lakers here. Not only have the Knicks struggled at home, but LeBron historically has performed well in Madison Square Garden. Get this though. Do you know LeBron has only played the Knicks once since 2020? Just once in the last three years. Um, he had a 29 point triple double and the Lakers beat the Knicks in that game. So unless there's a crazy change in the injury report, I'm taking the Lakers. Give me Lakers plus two. Um, if anything changes with that, I will definitely tweet it out. So follow me on Twitter if you're interested next game. Charlotte on the road in Milwaukee here, 8 p.m. tip off. This line opens up Bucks minus 12. Uh, tickets are on Milwaukee, money's on Milwaukee, but the line actually drops this morning from 12 down to 11. Maybe it's because Giannis is questionable, who knows? Um, all I know is we're looking at Milwaukee minus 11 as of this afternoon. Let's take a quick look at the spreadsheet. According to the model, the line for this game should be Milwaukee minus 15.77. That's a solid four or five point lean on the Bucks. Let's take a look at the matchup. Uh, you heard me say earlier in this video that Milwaukee's tied with Cleveland for the best record against the spread at home this season, 17, eight and one, including seven and three in their last 10 home games against the spread. Now I know Chris Middleton isn't playing many minutes right now. They're slowly integrating him back into the offense, but since him and Giannis returned from injury, the Bucks are 4-0 with an average margin of victory of 15.75. Now, I know that 11-point spread is definitely scary. It may scare some of you off of betting Milwaukee, but keep in mind, this Bucks team is the best home team in the NBA this season, despite the injuries. 
they're hot right now, and they're playing a bottom three or four team in the NBA. The Milwaukee side gets even more enticing when we take into account that Charlotte somehow just pulled off back-to-back -back upsets. You got the Hornets on a two-game winning streak right now, perfect time to be slapped back down to earth. So here are my bets for this game. Obviously, I need Giannis to play. So if Giannis doesn't play, I will not be placing these bets. I truly think we're about to see Milwaukee go on a run and put themselves up near Boston at the top of the Eastern Conference. Uh, we've been waiting for it all year. They're finally healthy. It's looking like that run is right now. So I'm going to ride the winning streak. Give me Milwaukee minus 11. Also, something I noticed, Charlotte has really impressive defensive numbers against point guards over the last 30 days. They're second in field goal percentage and fourth or fifth in points allowed to point guards. So I'm going to take Drew Holiday's under. Drew Holiday under 19 and they have points next game. Clippers on the road in Chicago, 8 p.m. tip off. Uh, line opens up Chicago plus three and a half. And we got ourselves a pros versus public game. Public is all over the Clippers, sharp money all over Chicago. This line drops from three and a half down to two and a half, but then it jumps back up to three. As of this afternoon, we're looking at Chicago plus three. Quick glance at the spreadsheet shows us that the line for this game should be Chicago plus 1.07. So that's a nice little two point lean on the Bulls. Now I gotta start by saying the Clips have now won five in a row where both Paul George and Kawhi Leonard play. Um, they're both playing tonight and four of those five wins have come on the road both these guys sat out the other night in cleveland so both should be well rested now i completely get why the sharp money is on chicago here the bulls looked really good in their last homestand in fact they've won their last three home games and two of them were impressive they beat the they beat golden state and they beat atlanta i would love to side with the bulls here but i can't i think with this western conference playoff picture being so tight there's like a two game gap from the four seed to the 10 seed or something crazy um, I think it's time we start seeing the Clippers establish themselves as a top four or five team in the West. I think they're going to be a solid team to bet from here on out. And I'm starting by going square. Give me the Clippers minus three next game. New Orleans on the road in Denver. This is a 10 p.m. tip off, I believe, Eastern time. Um, this line opens up Denver minus seven and a half, but actually drops down to six and a half. And check out all the sharp money that comes in late on New Orleans. 90% of the money on the Pelicans as of this afternoon. Let's take a quick gander at the spreadsheet. Uh, the line for this game should be Denver minus 12.34. So that's a full six point lean on the Nuggets here. All right, let's take a deeper look at the matchup. <laughs> what is there to say about this Pelicans team right now? That now makes eight losses in a row. The Pelicans are now just three and 13 in the last 16 games. This team went from the one seed to the eight seed in just 16 games. And if they lose here, they could drop to the 10. Since returning from injury, Brandon Ingram is shooting just 30% from the floor, including just one of 11 from three. Um, this was a dude who was second in the NBA in three point percentage, comes back to go one, and, uh, one for 11 in his first two games back. I know the Nuggets home winning streak ended. They lost their last home game to Oklahoma City, but that was a terrible spot for him, number one. Number two, before that game, they had won 16 straight home games. Yeah, I know Jamal Murray may not play. I don't care. I don't care how square it is. I'm taking Denver at home because they just always win at home. So I'm going square again. Uh, three games in a row, I'm going square here. Give me Denver minus six and a half. I'm going to be sick if I take losses on the public side. I hate that, um, but I'm on the Nuggets. If anything changes with these bets, any injury updates, anything like that, I will let you know on Twitter. So give me a follow there if you're interested. VIP tickets gonna be posted around 4.30 p.m. Eastern time as always. So if you want the bet of the day, parlay of the day, if you're interested in that, head over to kylecarms.com or download the Sauce Network app. NBA Tuesday, just five games. Well, there's a lot of college action tonight. We'll be posting that up as well. Um, everyone remember to bet responsibly and I will talk to you on Twitter.